Today we're talking about gaps and tracks. That's right, more updates here that we've got in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. So much good stuff in here, and uh, today we're talking gaps and tracks. So let's jump into Resolve and check this out. So let's talk about some gaps first. So in our timeline here, we might have gaps in our footage, right? And you used to have to come in here, you could click it, and you could hit delete to ripple delete, move everything over. And that works great, but let's say I only wanted to get rid of part of the gap, right? I needed to keep a little bit of it. Well, you used to have to come in here and you could use Option or Alt-Y to select everything to the, you know, right-hand side, for example, uh, of our timeline, of our playhead, and you could slide it back and line it up like that. Could do that if you want. That does work. But now the new feature that's here in 18.1 is that we can come in here and we can just use our Trim to Start and Trim to End shortcuts in order to get rid of parts of the gap. I don't even have to have my gap selected or anything. I can just come here and use my keyboard shortcuts, which I've reassigned to Q and W, to ripple delete from my playhead to the end of the clip, or in this case, the end of the gap, or I can move my playhead and use my Q key to uh, ripple delete from the playhead to the beginning like this. Super easy quality of life thing. It just makes it quicker and easier when you're trying to position things in areas where you might have gaps in your timeline. Now, if you're not sure what your keyboard shortcuts are, you can come to your, put your playhead wherever you want. You can come on up to the trim menu up here and then come on down to Trim Start and Trim End, and that's going to tell you your keyboard shortcuts, or you can just click it right here in the menu, and that's going to do the same thing for you. Trim Start, boom, there you go. It's going to trim the gap for you. So the ability to trim gaps, really sweet feature here in DaVinci Resolve 18, helps kind of speed things up for you a little bit. Now that we got gaps out of the way, let's talk tracks. So when we used to add in tracks, looking in our timeline here, you'd come, you'd right click and you'd say add a track and it would put it all the way at the top of your video layers. Or if you're in your audio down here, you came, you said add track, it would put it all the way at the bottom of your audio layers, right? And then we'd have to move things around a little bit, move up one by one or go to the edit index there in the uh, Fairlight page and move your audio tracks around, right? But now it doesn't do that. Now, wherever we right click and say add a track, it's going to add a track in our audio section right below that. So if I come here, I say add a stereo track, boom, there it is, audio two. Or if I came to my video track, just so you can see the difference here, let me uh, rename these tracks. I'm just going to call this one A. We'll call this guy B. So if I come in here, I click on B and I say add a track, boom, it's going to add that track right, right above a letter B here, right? It's going to add it right above wherever I right click. So that's super helpful because then we don't have to add a track, go find it, move it around. Maybe we need to shift things a little bit. Uh, it just makes it easier, speeds up your workflow. It's just one of those quality of life things here that they've updated in 18.1 that just makes everything work better. They're constantly making our job easier when we're editing our videos by giving us tools and features like this. Nice job, Blackmagic Design. Keep up the awesome work. There you have it, guys. There are two more features here in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. So many awesome things here in this update, guys. It is awesome. It's such a fantastic program. If you're just getting into Resolve, you're in the right spot. I mean, this is where the future's going here. DaVinci Resolve, guys. All right, with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.